I am talking to you from my car and I'm currently at Best Buy as you can see and I'm gonna be picking up my new camera and I'm so so excited because I've been rocking with the Sony ZV-1 for about three-ish years and I am ready for an upgrade. It's the Sony Alpha A7 Mark III I believe. But yeah, it's supposed to be really good. It is a older camera, has shown to be quite reliable and capable to be both a photography and vlogging camera. So that is something that I definitely gravitate towards because I love to do both. So yeah, come along with me on my journey on my unboxing and first impressions and let me know what you guys think. Currently, I'm just vlogging on my phone, so the quality is absolute trash. So I guess this will be a comparison to what it's capable of doing later on. <laughs> okay, so I'm home. I have not opened it yet. I'm super excited to see how it looks, how it feels. I'm currently recording on my Sony ZV-1. I do love this camera so much, but I decided to do a little upgrade to just get some better video quality and also get some photography. I really do love taking photos, so I think this would be great without talking too, too much. I'm gonna get this open just to take a look at some of the specs here. Um, it is 4K, it is a 35 millimeter full frame, 24.2 uh, megapixels, um, 10 frames per second, it has silent shooting, five axis steady shot, dual slot um, SD cards, and it's not the micro, it's just the regular size SD cards. And it also comes with a USB to USB-C. Okay, uh, there's a couple things that you can get. You can get certain mounts, you can get an LCD monitor. I do have that. I realized with this camera that the uh, screen the viewfinder is not something that can be like flipped and turned around towards you if you're filming, which I do like to do sometimes, but I do have an LCD monitor, so that is no issue at all. Okay, packaging's quite nice so far. Uh, looks like we have the warranty card, one year warranty, it's pretty good. Lens and accessories. If you guys know anything about lenses and like third party lenses, and if you have any preferences, like for example, if you have this camera, I'd love to hear uh, what you have to say. Okay, right off the bat, we have the band. Very nice, very clean. Okay, I'm gonna put this aside. And in the box. I think this is the camera itself. Oh, it's so nice. Oh my gosh. I mean, just the body, like, I love the leather texture here. I feel like that was such a nice touch, and it also helps with the grip. Oh! It is about 10% bigger than the Sony ZV-1. It does have that extra little oomph to it. It is quite light, which I, I like. I do have another DSLR camera, uh, and it is much heavier than this, but... From some research, it's uh, due to the technology of the mirrorless camera, it is going to be lighter, which I am very happy about. But yeah, like, oh my God, I am, I'm in love already, just off the bat. Sony ZV-1 doesn't have a little viewfinder thing here, so this will be definitely nice. Uh, nice touch for photography. I don't know anything about these settings, so I am gonna have to read up on it to optimally use this camera. And on the sides here, we have the options for the strap. So I'm just gonna put that on. But yeah, got our little email on here. And that's the base. Keep it safe. Here is the lens. Oh, 
amazing. Again, like I do not know much about lenses at all, so I am looking forward to doing my research and seeing what I'm gonna need for both videography and photography. Everything comes very protected, which I'm happy about. I just move the garbage. We have this, I'm not quite sure what this is, but um, I'm assuming it is to get a wider shot, uh, which is pretty cool. And I guess these are our batteries. Okay. Hopefully they come charged because I really want to try out this camera. Let's see. I'm not sure where it opens. Open. Okay. Please. Please be charged. No, it's dead. Okay, I'm gonna charge it for a bit and then I'll come back and see, give you a little update. Okay, so I'm back. It's been roughly about a month since I took those previous clips and I apologize if you hear the printers in the background. I have a couple of prints going, but I'm still gonna try to do this voiceover. So. Overall, since those last clips were taken, I have taken quite a bit of shots with this camera. So I made a little compilation here to, to show you how it's working, what you can expect with this camera. But as you can see, some clips are not optimized. I am by no means a photographer or videographer. So a lot of these settings may not be appropriate for a certain situation such as the waterfall however i feel like even though i didn't pinpoint the exact setting it provided such beautiful results this particular clip with the pineapple is definitely my favorite because you can tell that there's such small intricate details that you didn't even know were there the camera does such a good job at picking it up although the sony zv1 my previous camera and the Sony Alpha A7 III uh, are both 4K, I feel like the Alpha provides you with that sharpness that the Sony ZV-1 does not have. It's hard to explain, um, maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like just with the default lens, it provides such beautiful results. And the fact that I can get different lenses is definitely a big plus. I love this particular clip with the turtles. It's just so cute. Um, in this situation, I was at the park and I was taking some videos and pictures of the cherry blossoms. And then I realized there was a little pond and a bunch of turtles just trying to get some sun. And they were just so funny they were playing around with each other so i just stood there for maybe like half an hour and took <laughs> videos and pictures and then a squirrels came up and geese started coming over and there was birds so i had my little snow white moment for sure um and koi fish like oh my god it was it was so beautiful i needed that little nature therapy but anyways i think um I think it picked up on nature shots so beautifully the natural lighting came through and you can just see the beautiful details of the turtle and to be completely honest this uh, default lens does not zoom in very well so i am struggling to kind of get a close-up of the turtles or any features for that matter but if you focus it right, it definitely looks beautiful. And if you're editing, you can definitely just manually zoom in and crop your photo. So I took a lot of shots from afar and it was working out perfectly. This was so funny. The turtle was trying to climb on the rock and just gave up after two minutes, but cutest thing ever. Overall, this camera really exceeded my expectations. I am super happy with the results. And if you're looking at this and you're thinking, oh, you know, it's not as nice as I thought, or 
you know this is not really what i expected this was my learning phase so a lot of clips definitely don't look as good because i am you know maxed on the zoom and whatnot but i've learned certain techniques and uh, ways to get a good shot so uh, just keep an open mind when watching this but I definitely recommend getting it if you're looking for an upgrade from a vlogging camera or you just want to splurge I definitely recommend this anyways I hope you enjoyed this video I still have some more clips so feel free to watch them and I hope you guys have a wonderful day